All right, so one of the really interesting features and useful features of the simulator in MPLAB X is the logic analyzer. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you a simulated Atmega 328P chip uh, program written in C. And I'm going to go into simulation here like this. I've already added a breakpoint at the beginning of the program. And so what will happen is that I will uh, launch into the simulation right here. You can see that I've breakpointed, I've halted on this first line right here. And we're going to be mucking around with PB5. Okay, so port B, bit 5. And so now I'm going to go up to, let me see, tools right here. No, sorry, Windows, Simulator, like that, and Logic Analyzer. In the Logic Analyzer, I go down to the um, configuration settings right here, which is a looks like a hammer and a wrench. And I'm going to look for the particular signal. Actually, I've selected it right there. I'm going to remove it for a second because that was from a previous version of the simulation. And I'm going to move it over right here into selected pins. All right. I'm going to hit OK right there. And now I am going to hit continue. OK, so in my in my uh, program, I have a number of breakpoints. Let me see if I can close that up. Ah, it's not working. Hold on. All right, you're gonna have to trust me. There's some breakpoints in there, okay? And so I'm gonna hit continue like this. And what we can see is that port B up to that next breakpoint. Oh, you can see the breakpoint right here. It's port B right there. Port B is equal to zero. So up to that point in the number of instruction cycles that have cycled through. And in, in simulation, that's all you really need is the number of instruction cycles as opposed to actual time, okay? Um, it has remained zero for 14 instruction cycles. Now I'm going to go back to continue to the next breakpoint. It's going to hit that delay. I'm going to continue. And this continues on to the end of the program, actually up to the while loop. Um, and the, um, the no operation side of a while loop that I have right here. But what you can see is that between that, that initial halt on the breakpoint and then where I halt on the inside of a, a sort of a trapping while loop, you can see that the pulses have gone up and down, up and down, up and down like that. So what's important here is in order to get this to work, I find that it's really useful. Come on, let's see if I can make this. There we go. To have just before the end of my program, I have a while loop right here or a breakpoint where I halt um, so that I can stop the lad logic analyzer from going any further. And then any of these changes of port B and the delay function gets captured between that first breakpoint and this last one right here. And that's what you saw in the logic analyzer view. Now, the other way it's a little bit more clunky to do this is that we can set up other breakpoints like this. Like that. We can go into simulation. We can do the IO view. Okay, and let's do that right now as an alternative if your logic analyzer isn't working. So I'm going to go into window, simulator, uh, IO pin view, I believe it is. There we go. We're going to select PB5 right there. Okay, and I will go and since we're halted, I'm going to go and continue. All right. And you can see that it changed from zero to one. Let's continue along here. It went back to zero. And again, okay, and you can see it went back to zero. So wherever I put breakpoints, okay, and you have to be a little bit more liberal with the addition of breakpoints uh, to make this work, you can step through and you can, and I guess what's important here as well is to jump over these delay functions, okay, because you can't get a sense for time with the IO view. 
So really the logic analyzer is the better way to go. But if you need to, to do this because, uh, if you need to use the IO view because logic analyzer isn't working, which does happen occasionally, uh, this is the way to do it. Okay, take care everyone.